Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. And today I'm here to talk about mindset and I'm here to talk about time management and specifically. What I've learned over the years is when I'm coaching those with ADHD, I need to look at why they do things or what they do and what their existing systems are. And I need to get to the why. Understanding why they do something um, helps you understand how they might get around it. So this is a true story. Um, believe me, I can't make this stuff up. I was actually coaching a psychiatrist one time that had ADHD. Came into me and wanted coaching because they were late. I said, really, how late are you? Well, I'm 10, 10 mi minutes, 15 minutes late. I said, are you ever an hour late? <laughs> well, yeah, Sa daylight savings time, I'm like an hour, 15 minutes late. I said, were you ever on time? Yeah, daylight savings time, I'm sometimes 45 minutes early. Uh, but as the question went on, we finally concluded that uh, they were consistently uh, 10 to 15 minutes late, like 98, 99% of the time. And so as I began to listen to this, I said, well, what's your system? And the, and the doctor was, or the physician, psychiatrist, excuse me, was taken back for a second. He said, yeah, what's your recipe? He says, what do you mean? I said, if you're consistently 10 to 15 minutes late, you must have the system. Now, if you understand statistics and data, um, I kind of had him on that one. He, he really, he's really kind of stuck. And what came out, he says, I don't know, I just don't like to be bored. I go, there you go. And he said, what do you mean? Well, I said, if you don't like to be bored, there's no system in the world that's going to address it. That's why you're 10 to 15 minutes late. But you know that you have a system. It's designed for you to be 10 to 15 minutes late to miss the boring parts of anything that's really kind of going on. I said, why are you here, by the way? What, what prompted you to ask for coaching on this? Turns out he had a partner that had a monthly meeting that took great offense that he was late to the meetings. Now, mind you, we did coach around that particular meeting and we did come up with a structure for him to handle that. But when we left the coaching call, what was interesting is he realized that he had a time management system and it was working flawlessly for him. Now, some people might complain that hey, the guy's late, maybe it's really disrespectful. But at the end of the day, we begin to realize is that uh, when he's bored, uh, it creates other problems. And uh, if you Google attention talk video or attention talk radio and look up boredom, we talk about agitated boredom and that. So at the end of the day, the system that, he, that he's working with, being 10 to 15 minutes, is actually flawless. My point really here in, in this is the mindset really is, is I'm looking at why he's late and what his existing systems are. When I understand it, now we can begin to understand why those systems of alarms and reminders didn't work, the how you're supposed to manage time. And so we made an adjustment. We managed him being on time for one particular meeting, which I won't go into a lot of detail, but there's many ways around that. The point really here is the mindset of understanding why you do certain things and not just putting the prescribed how on it really makes a lot of sense. In other words, if you understand why and you think with that mindset, you can also find solutions that are obvious that weren't so obvious. We hope you've enjoyed this tidbit. We hope you're starting to understand how mindset has a lot to do with it. Please subscribe to, oops, to our button right here and please comment on this video. Um, always interested in what you think, what your, what your thoughts are, and uh, some of the mindsets that many of you share that uh, you're successful with. With that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk Video. Take care.